Through street art, I discovered that by putting something into a public space, you could create an awareness and a fame that people had to consume because you were simply walking from your house to work or it was over your favorite convenience store that you stopped for coffee. And it taught you a little bit about the power of public spaces. The youth expression that came out of various forms of hip hop, those were part of what, how I grew up. So adopting those things into a campaign for development and knowledge that's public in Liberia was really just a natural evolution for me. We said, you know what, let's create a television experience in a public space so that we could highly encourage the impact of whatever message it is, because obviously you couldn't pass by it without consuming it. We're in the midst of creating a revolution in the media space in Liberia. My first memories of Liberia were actually at my parents' dinner table in America. It was not until I returned to Liberia around 2008 that I began to understand what the actual status quo was in Liberia. Unfortunately, in the last 15, 20 years, 30 years, however, wherever you want to start from, the self-esteem of our population has degraded. That inspired me even more to take some of the um, skills and talents that I'd learned in the media world abroad and try to bring them here so that we could begin to use media more powerfully. The Accountability Lab, especially with its founder, uh, Mr. Blair Glencourse, have been fantastic incubators for this idea. It, it focused the entire media desire that I had to speak to our people and it gave it a proper context and subject matter. Now that Liberia has come out of the shadows of war and disease, we have to establish ourselves as a member of a global community. What will help Liberia the most is when the Liberian person internally uplifts themselves and begins to aspire towards a better future for themselves. I see the program. Watch this on the video. It's very beautiful. And I feel happy to see some of the things that happen in the rural countries and even in the capital city how people live, how the people spend their life, how they live their life. Sometimes you see the video, it will encourage you how the country is going forward and what happening in the country. You know, show a child a video on robotics and let's have a Liberian astronaut. Show some videos of the Olympics and have more Liberian swimmers. You know, once we have access to this, we, I believe that it will begin to lift the country holistically because we're lifting the country from inside, inside people's minds, outside into their society. <laughs>